Hello, Catherine here. Welcome to my channel. It is time for another episode of Tiny Channel Analytics. I am going to be moving these to Sundays instead of Mondays. That way I can start the, ne the next week off with lots and lots of strategy in mind if I'm going to grow the channel some more. All right, so you can see there's been a little bit of construction for the cover art. Now I'm not super happy with it but it will do for now until I can get better you know graphics skills and stuff like that but that's kind of what I'm focusing on here we got polyglot analysis which also includes polyglot tips and playlists for you know various languages that I study I've got my little Instagram link on there and of course the series tiny channel analytics and that is also now a playlist we go to playlists. So all the public playlists then would be so one, two, three, four, five. Getting a pretty decent library of videos now. Bio still normal. Okay. Now I'm starting to match the aesthetic from Instagram here a bit more. Definitely the purple. Purple is my favorite color, if you couldn't tell. I got a little bio there for Instagram and I've gained... Um, well, I'm up to 50 followers. Like I said, I'm not super active on here, but I'm going to be more active. And also I'm going to start posting some art. I'm probably not going to have much art on the YouTube channel. However, there will be some coming up on this one. Now let's get into the analytics. All right, we are at 10 subscribers. That is a increase of four from last week. And I'm now at 350 views. That is today's fresh number. We have reached 32.7 hours of watch time. And as we can see, this is a well, mostly upward trend, <laughs> but for the most part, this week we've managed to stay above 20 views a day. It's an improvement over this. We'll take it. All right, and obviously watch time has dramatically increased. Now, part of that is because I am uploading longer videos. Polyglot analyses, basically I take someone else's video, which is between 15 and 25 minutes, and of course I add my own commentary subscribers as you can see it's just kind of sporadic I gained two from my first Nathaniel Drew video and as we can see here this is mostly between 50 and 60 throughout the day of course I want that to continue to increase I believe it was in the 30s and 40s last week now I have I believe more videos or at least more around half at least of my videos now have double digits it's not much but hey you got to think of it it's all relative the average view duration tends to be pretty good I believe it's hovering around 52 percent now let's look at reach okay so my impressions have gone to 3.1 now they w it was at 2000 on the 26th five days ago so this has increased 50 percent okay the click-through rate tends to stay around five percent give or take point one or two I mean it it tends to be pretty even as you can see there um, this is the average it kind of varies between four and eight a lot but again we can see this fairly rapid increase here that was a really slow day for me and then I've managed to stay at or above 200 for the past week which is great and this is starting to get <laughs> into a larger scale uh, again, okay, so views again, 
still a little bit up and down, but what matters is the space under here and that the rate of increase, eventually it will go to 30, 40 plus a day. Unique viewers, again, generally on the upward trend. So from one week ago, well, last week, I had about 50 viewers, 50 or 53. So 78, I said 80 earlier this morning, so it's between 78 and 80. So obviously that's a major increase. Views on the 26th were 239. So that is an increase of over 100. Watch time on the 26th was 15.5. And this, of course, was less than a week ago, so it has doubled. Average views per viewer also has increased. It was at 3.1 or so one week or two ago. So obviously, still a bit of very... yeah, we're missing a bit of data here. I haven't gained any subscribers in a few days. Alright. So impressions and the little funnel here. So this is from up to the 30th. Of course now I have 3.1 thousand impressions. Now here's what's great. YouTube is recommending my content more and more. On the 26th it was 25%. And now it is 31.4%, 22.6% on the watch page, and 87 on the home page. They are recommending my stuff way more. And I remember when this was at 20%, so another 50% increase, which is outstanding. And the average view duration has grown. It's 428, and this is an accumulated 11 hours. Channel pages stays pretty much in a tight band at around 40 to 42 percent. Browse 21 percent. On the 26th, browse was 18 percent. So that has increased. YouTube search tends to stay around 12 or 13 percent, so that is normal. External is dropping. It was 16.7 percent on the 26th at the beginning of the week, and now it is at 11.4 percent. So this means that people are finding me more on YouTube instead of through links. Suggested videos on the 26th were 3.8 and now it is 7.4, so that's about double. And others is pretty much staying about average. It was 5.9 on the 26th and now it is 6.3. Facebook is still by and large the largest source of external traffic. Hopefully we'll start to see some Instagram there, but I need to get icons and stuff for for that. We have an extra uh, keyword here. Well, two words, Nathaniel Drew. It's Drew brought in a little bit of traffic, but Polyglot still tends to be the greatest pool. And I believe that's about it. I now have 36 videos. Now, even though the view count is still small, and I only have 10 subscribers, you have to look at it with perspective. The growth rate is very encouraging. That's what I need to focus on. Things like views and subscribers, what really matters is that the algorithm is picking me up more. I'm already making it on some home pages, which is great, and I'm starting to create content that involves other people and I'm just kind of getting the hang of this whole thing and it, of course I will improve over time as I get better at editing, better at delivery, all that good stuff. So I need to do a little bit more recon on the Instagram algorithm and strategize how I'm going to post over there. Again, it's Katie going up and figure out how I am going to grow that. So I've had an increase of 14 followers since I started following some other other profiles. And I try to post at least one a day. So as you can see, that's still very new here. One, two, three, 
So I would need to have a post for today. And I try to be engaged with people who comment on that. And of course, people who comment on here. And for the four additional subscribers, thank you so much. And I hope that you find some good content here. Uh, something thought provoking or at least entertaining. And that's pretty much it for this week. Thank you again for watching and supporting me. And I will see you later.